Ladies and gentlemen, and I do mean real ladies and gentlemen, I'm not talking about no damn beta males and stuff like that. It's been a disgusting week in the world of sports, especially out there in the Olympics. And Paris it was just a week ago in which we saw the disgusting display of the opening ceremony in the Olympics where they was mocking God last supper. They had a plus size woman in the middle. And to the left and to the right of her, they had Fruity Pebbles, Skittles, Frosted Flakes, all the colors of the rainbow. So we know the agenda. That's how the Olympics started with that opening ceremony, mocking people's religion. We had men out there dancing with children with their nutsacks hanging out in front of kids. I repeat, we had men out there dancing in front of children. With their nut sacks hanging in front of kids. Then follow up with these two fruity pebbles, Amani Khalif and Ling Bing Ding Ding. They followed up two fruity pebbles, excuse me, males, I'm sorry, these two want to be females beating on women, beating on our woman, and it's showcased around the world. Very disgusting. And in the last 24 hours, I also see that the media platforms, people that didn't even want to talk about the disgusting display of these two fighters, so-called fighters, and now they're trying to flip the scripts, trying to say, no, no, no. Oh, there was born woman and people were bullying them. And, you know, it's not their fault. Shut the hell double H hockey sticks up. Ladies and gentlemen, and I'm referring to the real ladies and gentlemen, Ling and Amani Khalif, these two dudes that want to be females, was banned from the 2023 Women's Boxing World Championship for having XY chromosomes. Now, if you don't know, women have in their DNA that identify them as women, they have two X. And to identify a man, he has XY. And that's what these two he, she's have, XY chromosomes. These media outlets, especially the mass media and stuff like that, you know, they're in cahoot with the political affiliations. And they know that these two are puppets of what you call the left. And I mean far left. I mean all the way left. They're in affiliation with the left people, the Fruity Pebbles, the Pastoras. And you already know there's election week. So you already know they're trying to give these guys the benefit of the doubt. I got a proposition for both these confused individuals. If you do want to fight women, and I believe that women should have a fair playing ground, why don't these he she's fight each other? Why don't y'all celebrate among your Skittles army, your Starburst army, and after the fight you could taste the rainbow? Each other's rainbows put it in that put it put the rainbow wherever you want to put it. But when you promoting this in front of children and abusing our woman, that's when it becomes an issue. How about y'all fight each other and how about y'all create your own party? You don't have to let the world see it. It don't even got to be televised. Or maybe people will enjoy seeing both you guys beat each other. Make it a 15 round fight with no headgear. I think this is what needs to be done. Maybe this would actually they want to happen. Two men on the podium beating on women. They're making these men out to be the victim. And by, I'm telling you, in a couple of weeks, they're going to make it seem like these women are quitters. And I'm here to tell you that Miss Angelina, excuse me, Angelina, Miss Angela Carini, I'm butchering her name, so please excuse me. And everybody who supports Carini, she is a warrior. She is a warrior and she is just not going to be in a situation getting hit by a man. She was going to be hit by a man just like, I don't want a woman to get hit by a man behind closed doors. I don't want any woman to stay in a relationship while they're getting beat by their significant others. That's the message that I got that I got from Miss Karini. I also say that boxing translates to life itself. And what she showed there, in my opinion, my humble opinion, if you want to translate boxing to life itself, because we all live a 12 round bout fight. We all live life day by day by day and i like to translate sports to real life she showed in the ring that translates to women should do in their home that's getting abused by men just walk out it doesn't matter if there is some type of sacrifice that you made 
you know, you worked your ass off in a relationship. I'm talking to the woman that has been battered. I'm talking to the woman that's actually probably right now staying in a relationship where they're getting abused just to see Angela Karina walk out. And I know that you put in the work to be in the relationship, and I know you put in the work for things to work, your time, your effort, your blood, sweat, and tears. You put in the work for you to be successful in the relationship. Just like how she put in the work, she could get that type of gold medal, but she chose to walk out. But in the end of the day, it's not worth it. It's not worth it. I love the sport of boxing, and I enjoy watching these men, these real men, and real woman in a fair fight. And whatever angle you want to come up with to justify these two he she's, if you want to say that these guys are not two men and they're actually women, and these guys really have a, you know, coochie coochie down there, I still have an argument for what the testosterone levels is elevated testosterone compared to other females in which elevated testosterone even if there was woman versus woman or man versus man they wouldn't be allowed to compete period if of uh, if the other competitor across me has a high level uh percentage of testosterone then how is that fair these other fighters are banned from their sports when they take sports enhancements then you want to cut out counter argument well they was born that way if you want to touch base on who they are, these two carry themselves as men. Well, you want to be a man? You want to carry yourself as a man? Go ahead and check out their social platform. I did. They want to be men. This is extremely disappointing. And it's going to our public schools. They're infiltrating the psyche of our children. These men want to be women. But they don't want to be woman. They want to beat woman. They want to beat woman. They want to be woman. And weak men have avoided this. Weak men have stood up and shut up. Weak men have been passing laws, passing laws to change the body parts of the sex of children. And the children have the say. They made a law in schools to where children now can keep their sex private. Meaning they don't have to tell the parents if the school system finds out that the kid is going to the left, that information is kept confidential to the parent. This is the devil's game plan. We identify the devil's playbook. We identify the game and we're not going to and, and, and we're going to tear that playbook apart. We're going to burn that playbook because, man, we have to stand up and protect our women, especially protect our children, because they're trying to create a whole new society for the future in which we're not going to be a part of because eventually we're going to get old. We're all going to pass away. Look what they're doing to our woman. Look what they did to the man. They weakened the man. Look what happened to the woman. Now look what they're doing to our children. They're attacking our children in school. They're trying to eliminate God because they know a household that is God first, everything second is a household that has a man that is righteous and believe in God. God knows that a household has a man in it is a strong household. And a woman that follows that man and the children is raised very well. Let's keep that nuclear family intact. Let's be real. Let's represent God. Let's be righteous. Let us be loving. Let's hold each other accountable. And let's stop this nonsense. Now, this is not a message that the social media platform wants to broadcast. They don't want they, they don't want to promote this broadcast. But on this platform, I'm going to talk about it. And I think it's wrong. And for the people in the comments that said that she was born a woman, I want you to look at this person and really be honest with yourself. Do you think this is a woman? And let's pass the physical appearance. Let's go down to the DNA. This man has XY chromosomes. Now, this is not a trans. This We're going to keep it TikTok YouTube friendly. This is not a trans. Beep. This person is identified as intersex. Nevertheless, you have XY chromosomes in your blood, in your DNA, and you have elevated levels of testosterone. So it's not fair in any level. And these women are getting beaten up on national TV and we're promoting kids to watch this nonsense. If so-and-so can be successful doing this sport, doing this event, then I could do it too. And that's what the Olympics is promoting. It's unfortunate. It's unfortunate. But I'm going to shed a light 
Let me know in the comments if you think this is right. If you think that Amani Khalif and Ling Bing Ding Bing should be fighting women, even though they have XY chromosomes. At the time, Khalif said the ruling meant having characteristics that mean I can't box of women, but claimed to be a victim of a big conspiracy with this disqualification. She made an appeal before the court, but later withdrew. Why did she withdraw? All right, why did he withdraw? Making the IBA decision legally binding. This is a picture of Iman Khalif after winning her semi or after he won his semi, whatever, final. One step away from winning a gold medal in the Olympics. The audacity be crying, going through all the scrutiny of the world, all eyes on him, all eyes on her. And he, she feels the pressure. I don't feel sorry for he, she. This is the victim who I do feel sorry for. A woman who trained her entire life because the Olympics is a golden opportunity to propel your career to just to go into the ring with a man. Another quote, a Hungarian sports official, Convax, has claimed a green boxer, Men Khalif, is not female. The European vice president of the World Boxing Organization said that he alerted the IOC about alleged male participation in women's boxing in 2022, but no action was taken. In an interview with Ness, with Nemzet, Kovlak confirmed speculation that Cliff was biologically male, noting that the gender test revealed this. He said the problem was not with the level of Khalif's testosterone, because that can be adjusted nowadays, but with the result of the gender test, which clearly revealed that Agarian Boxer is biological male. Of Khalif's testosterone, because that can be adjusted nowadays, but with the result of the gender test, which clearly revealed that a green boxer is biological male, I repeat. Kovacs also mentioned that five boxers, including Khalif, were tested by the International Boxing Association and all were found to be male. He reported these reports, he reported these results to the IOC, but claimed he has yet to receive a response. The Hungarian official expressed concerns of the of the Hungarian boxer Anna Luka. Hamara's upcoming match against Khalif, stating that Hamara was simply not trained for this and emphasized the risks that she faces. 